What's up guys? So, Huawei supply chain has some serious issues, since most foreign suppliers cannot do business with Huawei. The company can only rely on Chinese manufacturers, so for this reason, the long-awaited Huawei P50 series have also undergone many adjustments and delays, and right now, I think we got a release date. Anyway, if you want to get video like this, sub to this channel will be amazing. Now, let's get start the video. So, according to a Vivo Leakster, the Huawei P50 series will cost less, and he also mentions that these devices will launch on July 29th. It will have two variants 4G and 5G. And you know what, in the era of technology, smartphones have now become an essential part of everyone's life. Additionally, the COVID-19 pandemic has also increased the use of smartphones in every scenario of our daily activities. And we can say, smartphones are the basic necessity in our lives. Therefore, to increase the ease of use and improve the overall user experience, smartphone makers experiments with their design ideas with continuous innovation. And in terms of innovation, Huawei always makes lots of efforts to develop something different from other. So, most recently, Huawei filed this patent. The design shown in the image is quite impressive and interesting. Also, this smartphone will have an under-display selfie camera for the first time, to give you a full futuristic display, which is incredible. Anyway, we have also some renders of the same concept, which looks really pleasing. And this render design shows the smartphone has a large curved edge display, with an under-display selfie camera, as well as equipped with a triple camera system. So, looking at the rear side of the phone, there is a pull-shaped camera bump placed vertically in the top left corner, to house the triple camera system. Also, the smartphone is featuring a 3.5mm headphone jack, which is again a plus point. Anyway, just like other smartphone brands, Huawei is also preparing and developing advanced technology to launch brand new under-display camera smartphones. But it's not confirmed when or how Huawei will introduce this phone among consumers. Also, you most probably know that Huawei and Google is having issues due to Huawei's ban. Like after the ban, Huawei can't use Google services in its phones, which is no doubt a big loss. And today, Huawei ended up making its own operating system, as a competitor of Android, called Harmony Operating System, and is already dominating the Chinese market, like it's getting really successful inside of China. Moreover, don't forget that, Harmony Operating System is really really similar to Android, like whole operating system uses Android app false, and Google can stop Huawei to use it, because, Android is an open source version, anyone can have it, but it seems. Google still wants to stop Huawei using its APKs. That's why a few days back, Google announced that it is replacing the Android package APK files with Android App Bundle from this August and in tandem with the release of Android 12. So, all new apps submitted to the Play Store from August will need to use the new format and existing apps can continue to use APKs for now. So, overall, Google don't want Huawei to use its APKs, that's why they did that. So what does this mean for Huawei, and its Harmony operating system platform? So, you have a good news though. Huawei CEO told that, the new format would not affect Harmony operating system user experience, or hamper any development. He also said that, the Android app bundle format is essentially similar to Harmony's atomic service, while, the firm previously described the atomic service, as future-oriented user applications in Harmony OS that are installation-free and provide a specific function. So, it's a good news that it won't hurt Harmony operating system, and it's unclear whether Huawei's Harmony operating system and Huawei mobile services platform sports new Android app bundles. Some documentations indicate that Harmony operating system also supports Android app bundles, but it's not confirmed yet, so don't worry about that. Huawei still have solutions for that, and Harmony operating system won't be affected from any move. Anyway, that's all the latest news, what do you guys think about it? Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments down below. And if you somehow like this video, sub to the channel will be make my day. And my name is Arjun, this is Digital Outside, so as always I'll catch you guys in the next one. You know
know I'm a 